how you guys doing today? <laughs> hey. We're um, doing things and talking about geeks. stuff. Yeah, I'm Joe. I'm Luke. And today we're bringing you some stuff. So I got to start with our news is stupid. Um, some dumb fuck news. <laughs> this one just caught me. This one tickles me in, in, a, in a weird way. There was a porn pirating lawyer who was jailed for five years. Okay. <laughs> now, that headline is amazing. and It's coming from the yeah. BBC. Um, but here, basically what it is, there was a U.S. lawyer who was uploading pornography to file sharing sites and then suing the people who, download, who were downloading it. Let me state that again. Yeah. There is a lawyer who was pirating pornography, uploading it to file sharing sites, and then suing the people who were downloading it. Oh, my God. Yeah. On behalf of the, like, the porn studio? Um, I'm guessing? Because, like, you can't just, just like, oh, he's pirating. I'm suing him. Like, I'm getting, like. No. What? Okay, John Steele. (laughs) <laughs> of course he would be named that. It's like a Something suit. fucking... Yeah, it's a classic it's like a, villain name. I, I, a villain or like an 80s uh, hero name. Right. John, John, John Steele. And it's, it has an E on the end. Steely. Oh, so. <laughs> he co-founded a film called Prenda Law that set up and ran the porn trolling scheme. Uh-huh. His friend and partner, Paul Hensheimer, was jailed for 14 years in June for his role in the scam. Steele faced a sentence of more than 10 years, but this was reduced because he cooperated with prosecutors. Prenda Law ran as porn trolling con from 2010 to 2013, and it is believed to have netted the firm more than six million dollars, or 4.8 million. Uh, I don't know, whatever that is. It accused people of pirating pornographic films that had uploaded to file sharing sites. So it wasn't even one of those situations where he was doing it on the behalf of porn stars or porn. Uh, studios or anything like that he was just doing it to make money so it was like he uploaded it to a file sharing site and then got mad when people downloaded the file no no he purposely uploaded the. that's what i'm saying he didn't get mad he purposely did it and no no no, i know i get that i'm saying like he uploaded it it's like putting something on mega download and then someone finds it and goes hey that porn i was looking for and then he goes hey that's my porn you can't have that porn (laughs) like is that I just I don't it's in the UK so I don't get the courts. I no, just, no, this is US. Oh, this, that's the US. Yeah, oh, this is in the oh, US. God. Oh, no, you no, said no. it was a UK article. No, it was from BBC. BBC. Well, that's I just I Which just, is bbc.com, not bbc.co.uk. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, no. Uh <laughs> It hurts Federal me. investigators began probing Prenda in 2012 after it sued two large US ISPs it accused of helping subscribers pirate pornographic films. This investigation discovered Prenda had been uploading the pornographic films to which it owned the copyright to the file sharing oh, sites itself. okay, so he owned the copyright to the porn. To encourage people to pirate them. In addition, the fees paid by many of the alleged pirates had been funneled through shell companies to hide the fact that they were actually going to steal and hammer Hans Hans Hanschmeimer, whatever. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Hanschmeimer. He doesn't deserve to have his name pronounced correctly so fuck him fuck him for preying on people for their porn right like at his sentencing hearing Steele said that he had made stupid decisions reported tech news site arcs ars technica his lawyer agreed adding his actions have been reprehensible abhorrent and criminal uh they've also been reordered to repay 1.5 million dollars to victims of porn of the porn piracy scheme so basically he, he got the copyright to porn film yeah. uploaded them and then sued the people who downloaded them I wish it's like I it's, wish it was homemade, like him and the his secretary in the office. Right. That would that would make it just the cherry on top. Unfortunately, the BBC story does not discuss the uh, actresses and actresses involved. Uh, the nature of the pornography. I just oh uh, my let's God. see if the Ars Technica site does. That's that's one. It, I mean, it's a it's a really shitty scam to do. You're scamming fucking random people. Yeah. Really do, but. It's it's just so shitty all around. You piece of shit. And then the fucker's cooperating, so he's only going to get, what did they say, five years? Five years versus 14 for his partner. The partner got 14 fucking years, and it doesn't sound like the partner was the main guy. No. This was the actual lawyer. And he's like, fuck this guy. I yeah. hope he gets hit by a goddamn truck. Hope he get you know, it's just so, it's so awful. Like, why? Why would you, why? I don't know, though, man, you know. I would never prey on people for their pornography. That's fucked up. God, that's just shitty. Uh, also, I mean, I get it though. Like, like on the one hand, I kind of get the going after porn pirates because still. there's no defense. Like, right? It's not like a movie or music 
But at the same, what's weird is it's almost like the people probably felt, well, they want to make it go away, first off. Yeah. Like, you don't want this to I mean, come out there. It was uh, it was stated in the article that most of the people they sued just paid them money because mm-hmm. it was easier to pay them money than to go through the actual legal, legal proceedings. That's why it went through the Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because, <laughs> God. That, that just, means it's probably some really sick fucking porn, too. Oh, man. <laughs> It's like dog fucking porn or something like that. Well, that would be Horse illegal. Fucking. That would be illegal, period. It's not illegal in every state, though, Luke. That's true. Uh, that's the weird oh, part. Oh, God. Yeah, bestiality Isn't is legal. Isn't it legal? It's not illegal on the federal level? I, I have no idea. Actually, like I don't know if there are any laws regarding We're gonna legality. We're going to become a fucking horse fucking podcast again. No. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's one of I'm our guessing, though, anyway. I'm, even in states where it's not specifically illegal, I, I think that you can I still mean, get charged with animal abuse. Yeah. Um... Oh, God, I'm going to have this in my Google search history. (laughs) (laughs) Is bestiality legal in what state? (laughs) Don't actually look it up. I don't give a shit. Um, There are 10 states where it isn't illegal. (laughs) And guess what one of those are? Fucking Ohio. (laughs) Now, so I was right because I know for a fact there was a story in Ohio someone got charged for animal abuse. Yeah, no, I mean... For bestiality. It, like, so. bestiality itself is... It's a, it doesn't have its own charge. Okay, in Wyoming, New Mexico, and a couple... Uh, I bet in New West Mexico Virginia, they wouldn't charge you, though. And D.C., of all places. <laughs> bestiality is perfectly legal. In Ohio, it's a misdemeanor. Um, oh, okay. So it's it's gotten better. Oh, Hawaii. I said Hawaii, didn't I? Yeah. It's like... Hawaii. This, like, don't get me wrong. It's like D.C., Hawaii, I'm pretty sure they don't have a law on the books for it because there hasn't been a need for it. Here's a th- legality. At least I hope so. Legality and of sale and distribution of zoophilic, whatever, pornography in the United States. California, New Mexico, West Virginia, D.C., and it looks like Massachusetts. It's legal to sell bestiality porn. Was this guy in those <laughs> <laughs> it's a league. It's, it's a misdemeanor to participate in it. In then again, it, it also doesn't say it. he dis- like he didn't. It doesn't sound like he ever sold the porn. He just used it for the scheme, whatever it's, the porn was. It is completely legal in in contiguous United States, except for looks like Oregon um, to possess zoophile porn. Why? I fucking I don't know, man. Um. In Oregon, it's a misdemeanor to possess it. Jesus fucking Christ. Um, however, in most of the states, uh, the sex offender registry does not apply to bestiality convictions. <laughs> so you can keep your dog chained up from your neighbor. Animal abuse registry is applying to bestiality convictions in the United States. It's Tennessee, and that's the only one. Hmm. That's the only place where animal abuse, like when if you are a shitty person who decides to fuck something that is not a human and is non-consensual in all but Tennessee you do not have to register in the animal abuse registry yeah. I didn't know there was an, an animal abuse registry I did not either so hey I That's learned something cool. new today and now yeah. I'm going to have bestiality ads popping up in my google apps so thank you I kind of hope not but you just start seeing ads for dog food and like <laughs> ads to get help <laughs> Yeah, there you go. I'm going to pull up speed test later to test my fucking network speeds. I'm like, psychology for animal abusers. Like, oh, shit. Come on, man. I Get love help animals. today. Porn addiction. Yeah, right? Um, I That's didn't, great. Oh, well. Uh, I'll, I'll deal with that at uh, an appropriate time later. <laughs> I will send a quick email to Google. Please don't send me ads. For- I mean, I could just pull up my Google search history and delete that. So yeah. it's not like it's difficult, but you know, it's still kind of. It weird. wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> I mean, when it comes to bestiality, it would be the first time. But you're right; it's not the first yeah. time I've had to delete something from my search history because it's like I didn't mean to actually search for that. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, I le- I have legitimately had um instances where i was typing something into the search bar when back when i was using chrome Mm -hmm. and it would glitch or i would hit a wrong button and it would search for something i didn't want it to search for so then i started getting like search suggestions for like university of missouri or some shit like i didn't i didn't search for that google why are you giving me this giving me these ads well it wasn't ads it was more like suggestions to go check it check out this like that's annoying but, but why that's in missouri i'm in shitty ohio yeah 
I'm not sure which state is worse, but I don't want to be in either place. I still get both uh, from the two annoying things I get that's similar to that. Amazon and, um, for some reason, Cincinnati State College. Right. I When I first moved to Ohio. I mean Cincinnati Community, uh, the, the the Community College. Whatever, the, yeah, that one. Um, whatever one is nearby here. Wow. I, I should know this, but whatever. Yeah. Um, I, uh, I've only I, lived in this city for 30 goddamn years. I don't know if I even filled out the full application. Right. But I know I did something for that school. Cincinnati like, State. Cincinnati State, yeah. yeah. Um, at which college. point now I get emails about their alumni programs. Like, they think I graduated. <laughs> Are they asking you for money? Oh, yeah, totally. The alumni, it's always about money because what else are you going to get from your alumni? On top of that, like I, cocaine. I get like things like help with uh, your um, fucking school loans and everything. I'm like, I don't have any. Uh, that I know of. <laughs> and Amazon, I've bought like anything you buy on Amazon. You just get an endless amount of emails. I bought. I, I, a, I do not get Amazon emails. I I, I do not get <laughs> Amazon marketing emails whatsoever. The only time I get Amazon emails is obviously when I buy something and when my Prime subscription is about to run out. That's yeah. it. Yeah, mine's just, I, I've never seen an email about my Prime running out because I have it on auto pay, and I shouldn't because I <laughs> probably need to not have it. But now I started using Prime Video, so but I get emails I mean, all yeah, the time now, about now dolls. Sports Chromecast, you might as well. Yeah, like why would you? Like, well, that's the only time I started like, using it. That was one of those things that pissed me off. I don't mean to get off topic, but. For the lo- for like a while there, um, Amazon Prime supported Chromecast because and I then remember, it took it away. And then I because re- I remember being able to cast in the early days of yeah. having a Chromecast before um, whatever I don't know what happened, but yeah, then it went away, and I was like, Why I you th- do always this? thought it had something to do with Alexa and I don't know their own proprietary shit. I mean, or it was Google's end. Who knows? It was both. Yeah, because they've yeah. had they've had that bitter rivalry for the longest time. Chromecast support got removed from Amazon apps, and then later, mm-hmm. Amazon TV platforms had YouTube and other shit removed. So. Fucking lame. Yeah, but yeah, I uh, uh, ordered a doll that my grandmother wanted for her niece, great niece, whatever. So now I get fucking, uh, you know, those American, have you ever heard of those American girl? I think they're called dolls. Yeah, yeah. I, I get fucking about. ads for like emails about like, hey, you're interested. And it's like, no, not really. One time. And uh, Little House on the Prairie. I bought my sister DVDs. I so remember. I constantly yeah, I get that, yeah. Little House on the Prairie, which they're, they're not making more. And I've bought her all of them. So half the time it's ads for shit I've already bought. You know, back when back before I started using Fuck you, um, Amazon. Back before I started using AdBlock prolifically, and back yeah. when I still used like Facebook and shit, I would buy something on Amazon and then twenty minutes later see exactly. an ad yeah. for it on Facebook. It's like Amazon, I just bought that. You know that I bought that. Why are you serving me an ad for that? I will be honest. The ads on Facebook, they've stepped up their game to the point that like I don't I I love them. Legitimately, the for products. The random ads for like check out our video. Blah, 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 blah. Fuck them. Those hey, you know are what? fucking annoying. We can't be mad at that. So actually, we're some doing of them that. are okay. Well, yeah, we're doing that too. But some of them are okay. Like it, legitimately, like videos I would not have seen otherwise that right, I just right, sat there yeah. and watched. But the ads for products from even like Walmart.com, some of the most random shit that just like I literally legitimately looking at that like there's no way we sell that. That just doesn't make any goddamn sense. No, it's available at like or what dot com when it was some other shopping website. I don't remember the name of, uh, but the, Woot, it's like Jet, whatever. Woot, maybe it was Woot. I don't know, but it, just the randomness of the shit there. Sometimes it is like my Google Ads. I can see like I kept getting ads for Warhammer sets, right, from Walmart, and I'm like, we don't fucking sell Warhammer sets. And that's when I realized, oh, Walmart dot com is Amazon dot com, but with just a shitty interface, so nobody knows. Yeah. Everybody thinks Walmart.com just sells Walmart sells. No, Walmart.com is fuck off huge. Oh, yeah. Just no, like I mean, our third-party marketplace is massive. Yeah. But this, yeah, nobody the knows because they don't advertise it very well. And it's not also not laid out very well. No. How many times? Garbage. Like the number of times I've had to explain to customers when they've come into our store and tried to buy a PS4 for $200 when it's going for $400 mm-hmm. is astounding because it's like, well, yeah, here's the problem, though. That's not us selling it. Yeah. What do you mean? It's on your website. Right. But we're like Amazon. You scroll down, see what that says? Mm-hmm. Sold and shipped by who? It doesn't fucking yeah. say Walmart, you goddamn it, idiot. It says, like, Joe's Blow Shack. Right, yeah. Like, 
You know, some some dickheads. Joe was, blows a video game shack. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> well, not you, Joe. How fucking other dare Joe? You? you don't know this video game and blow shack. <laughs> but <laughs> it's so weird though. It's like like so many people are just like. And like on Amazon, you can see that. Clearly. That's why I love the app. But see, that's the thing with Amazon too. Amazon will refund you your money if from a third party seller. Yeah. Whereas I don't know how Walmart works because I don't order from Walmart that often. But yeah, I I, I know we do returns in the store now from uh, Walmart.com, which we didn't for the longest time. Yep. But um, yeah, that's I like those ads can get insane and stuff that I'm like I know I haven't searched. Like I'm just going through my head sometimes when I see stuff. It's like, I didn't, I can't think of a time when I've ever, like, <laughs> looked up anything like this. And uh, I don't know. Uh, it's just like, it, it can be the most random shit that just you don't expect. Like, I swear to God, I've seen bondage gear on that. That totally fits with probably searches I've made in the past. But I was like, but wait, this is, this, why is this a ad on Facebook? <laughs> I've seen some. Def- I've definitely seen some. I mean, I've seen ads on Facebook for dildos and butt plugs mm-hmm. and shit like that. Like, where well, you can just, but it's like you could scroll over and see all this different stuff. Like, I even see cool stuff like figurines and right, different yeah. things that like nerdy shit. I mean, I've bought a few T-shirts off of yeah, um, like the one I'm wearing right now, Sterling Archer 2016 line is like 95 percent of what I do. I found that on a Facebook ad. Yeah, like, so I don't know. Uh, it's I don't know. It's it's funny to me that what the the shit they have. I know I've fallen for those random videos where they'll show a, a product essentially it's like it, it really is the new um as seen on tv style right, advertising right, right where they had one that was like this uh Shake beer <laughs> well yeah Shake weight. they it had this beard trimmer thing that like for man but beard scaping and actually they do have one for manscaping for both your junk and your right, like, right. chest hair and everything too but uh, I was I kept seeing this ad and I'm like that thing looks awesome, I really or it wasn't a, a razor it was like a hot thing like yeah a curling iron type thing but for your beard right and I was like man I really want to give that a shot and right like, stretch out my goatee and stuff and then I bought that shit and was like oh it's, after I bought it and was like looking at it, I was like oh this is like a, a, a fucking Chinese manufacturing company this is all bullshit the one you saw like six months to get here the one you saw in the ad is like the one they made that is 100 percent perfect and functional the one that you got i will say i it looks exactly like it i'm sure it works however it does not it does not like it's not like boom oh my god look it's so amazing it's just it's a fucking hot it's a hot comb is all it is and I was like expecting, like, oh, maybe it uses some eye on new technology. No, it's just a fucking hot comb, and it's not even a very good comb for your facial hair. It just heats your hair up. And I was like, oh, I'm an idiot. Why did I buy this? <laughs> you are the person they target. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And I was like, I was like, never again. And then I saw that fucking manscaping thing, and was like, ooh, that'll make it easier to shave my balls. And I'm like, no, I will not fall for you again. See. Um... <laughs> I'm that's why I'm so glad I deleted Facebook, man. I don't blame you. Like it's one of those things. Like God, my mental health is just fucking through the goddamn roof. <laughs> like I'm so much less stressed about things. I I spend less time on my phone in general now. I'm like, oh my God, how many likes did I get? Because I don't care, <laughs> right? Like I'm not sitting there. It's it's so, so much nicer. Yeah, yeah. Well, I. I I really do. Facebook now for me is just a second Reddit. Yeah. Because all I do is just scroll and look at memes. <laughs> and that's it. I don't, I think I've made a post maybe once in the last six months. Yeah. Um, other than uh, like for our page, which I'm like two episodes behind on again. God damn it. But um, you have one job. I know. Actually, I got a lot of jobs, but that's one job for this. Uh, but it, it's like, it, that's all. And I've got friends, shout out to my buddy, Sean, if he ever listens to the podcast, who all he does is all day. Seems like he just sits there and shares memes. <laughs> um, which I'm just like, I'm very appreciative of. And there's a few other people, uh, Barry and some other people that just, all I just do is sit there and, <laughs> <laughs> is like, oh, I'm fucking on page 18 of Reddit and it's still seeing the same, uh, top posts when I refresh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, open Facebook. <laughs> 
here's something that I find amusing because I'm on Reddit right now. Yeah. Um, today I learned that when Kylie Jenner tried to trademark her name Kylie in 2016, <laughs> Australian pop star Kylie Minogue successfully got the request blocked with her lawyers telling the U.S. government Kylie Minogue is an internationally renowned is internationally renowned, rather, while Kylie Jenner has a secondary t- reality TV personality. Oh, so fucking oh. harsh. Yes. I love it. I love That's that. That's great. Uh, She's like world renowned. <laughs> I love that. We're, we're internationally renowned. Porn she star. is. No, oh, she's a pop star. Oh, pop. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I know. heard porn star. <laughs> no. I've, see, I've never heard of the pop star. So she might be internationally renowned, but I've never heard of her. Uh, Which I mean, is unsurprising. I don't listen to pop music, so. Right. Um, okay, so That's we have funny. some stuff to talk about. Yeah. Um, the Switch Lite and stuff like that. Kind of interesting. Uh, uh, before we go too deep into this, there's a subreddit on Reddit called R Tomorrow. Yeah. And it's basically a, <laughs> the entire um, the entire point of the subreddit is to sit there and make fun of posts in the art Nintendo Switch subreddit. Why? Because... Nintendo Switch Nintendo fans are circle jerks to the extreme. True. Yeah. So they go and make fun of them for it. And um it's it's actually quite hilarious how they've been making fun of the Switch Lite. Right mm-hmm. now there's a post on my front page from R Tomorrow titled Stupid Switch Lite, I can't remove the friggin' Joy Con. Scream Nintendo <laughs> Zero out of ten. You call this a switch? It doesn't even switch. And the picture is of a white PSP. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, which I just, I just, I love I that kind that. of thing. Like it's so, it's so uh, like, and they've been making like it, it's all over the top circle jerky. Yeah. Make fun of which post. It sounds like uh, our tree folk for Lord of the, for uh, uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah, so, similar. Uh, t- way, way, way over the top though. Like there'll be a post or a pop up on the Switch where it's like, hey, look, I made my own Nintendo Switch case. Yeah. And then like. The next, like five hours later, that post will show up on our tomorrow saying my gay disabled cousin with Down syndrome made this Nintendo <laughs> Switch case. <laughs> That's so shitty. <laughs> because yeah. there'll be posts that'll pop up like that, like my five year old did this. It's like, yeah. cool, okay, yeah. Like nobody fucking really cares. Like, cool, good for your five year old. Yeah. Nobody gives. He's a probably shit. still eating paste. It doesn't matter. <laughs> He's probably still holding people up for Reptar bars or something. I don't know. I wonder if there's a, a subreddit for that for, like, uh, our awe. I'm sure there is. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's a subreddit for almost everything you can think of. A subreddit so. for a subreddit. <laughs> God, that's our kinda... subreddit. So, anyway, uh, I just I had to go along with that. But one of the things that's kind of happening with the Switch, because there's some stuff that's come out, like, obviously, with the Switch Lite. Yeah. Um, Nintendo's updating the original Switch with a new CPU and storage, which I think... Um, judging by what information we have, it's probably just the new SOC arrangement that is being used in the Switch Lite. Yeah. Just because it's easier on the battery life and manufacturing. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's probably just that. Like, they're just changing the NAND memory type to better... and to be, Probably just to ease lines yeah. and stuff. Um, they always update yeah. after, you know, uh, that generations is not the right term, but after like the manufacturing cycle. Yeah. A, a, you know, next year, so this every is not, console's done that. This it's is not like a new, new console. This is definitely nothing new. Like the Xbox yeah. 360 did it. We were talking about that. Multiple, multiple playing. times. Too. Yeah, like in the initial run, they had the Red Ring of Death and stuff like that. And then it went through like two or three revisions before mm-hmm. they, they got all the kinks ironed out. I mean, even with the one I had, which was in near perfect shape, it still had a kink in it where after a while, um, one of the, there was a cable on the daughter board down below where the power button is to turn the fucking thing on that uh, had a short in it. So my switch or my 360 would randomly turn off while I was playing it. No. Oh, that would make me so fucking mad. I just, I figured it out, disconnected that switch and just turned it on and off with the controller from that point on. Yeah. Which is just, I mean, honestly... That's what. That's the way most people did it anyway. Oh, I know uh, a ton of people, myself included, who had endless problems with the disc tray. Right. The disc tray would get jammed. The disc tray, the rubber bands would uh, either go bad or fall off, or it would. Uh, they'd get dirty and they wouldn't. Uh, it was. It was. It was bad. It was right, yeah. terrible design. But yeah, they. they uh, you know, more and more they change little things like that. It never really. It's not a huge. It's not like you know. It's the Switch 2.0 or anything like that. It's not the Switch Pro that everyone's no. talking about popping up. Which I, I mean, 
I could see happening, but not for a while. There's, there was even there's. I've already seen like three or four articles like uh, the Switch Pro still might be coming. Oh, there's a Switch on the horizon. Like that have cited that the 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 CPU change and everything. It's like, but that's just a very minor upgrade. Sometimes they even do it just to cut costs. Yeah, I, and I think that's what this is. What one of the things are is. Um, you new know, parts, you know, parts that weren't available before become available and cheaper, and I it's more just efficient stupid. or something. It's basically the Switch Lite will have a more power efficient chip layout with slightly improved battery life, so it's probably just Nintendo standardizing Fire. Yeah. all of that together so that they can just make all of it cheaper for them to, to continue manufacturing. Plus, it's usually cheaper if you buy in bulk. So. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I the Switch Lite itself, I I'm I'm not gonna buy one. I, I barely play my Switch on dock now. Yeah. Um, I'm not buying one at all. I already have two fucking Switches. Like, why why yeah. am I buying a third just for portable play when the one I have that I use every day plays portably just fine? Yeah. And also can be played with detachable Joy-Cons. Yeah. Like, I completely get where they're coming from with this, but if they... Like, they're still sitting there. They're still trying to hold this stance that with the Switch Lite, they're not going to be sitting there and, uh, you know, cannibalizing the 3DS market. Oh, is Nintendo? I thought they admitted that, yeah, we're done with the 3DS. Not I, not from what I last read. Um, but it, it's one of those things where it's like, you're you're totally cannibalizing yeah, you, your, your market with this, now. You're, you're done. It's no, there's no excuse. Because now, like, like why would you, why would you not? Yeah. Because the Switch Lite is billion times more powerful is the same like can still play all the same games the switch can and nobody gives a shit about the 3d but now it's, it's two hundred dollars it's never been which a thing. by the way the new nintendo 3ds is two hundred dollars yeah i think it's actually dropped to like 160 now but still i would fucking totally spring 40 bucks to play breath of the wild versus what the fuck ever the 3ds has to offer yeah you know like why would you like they're totally cannibalizing that that market, and, I, and I don't know what their stance was. The last I had read was that they were trying. They would no, no, 3ds is fine. We're not going to kill it. I off. mean, I'm sure they they might continue to make 3ds games and, and continue support right, right. for the 3ds. But like as far as I, I yeah, I, I don't know. I guess it'll depend on what battery life you actually get out of the Switch Lite. Um, they say three use. to seven hours, which is if that's true. That's roughly what you can get out of a 3DS. I, I thought you got, like, closer to the 7-hour, not 3-hour. I mean... I guess if you turn on the 3D, I know that ate the battery like crazy. Yeah, but, I mean, still, 3 to 7 hours, depending on what you're playing. I, yeah, I don't know. I, I, whether or not you're using 3D features or not, you're right, but still, I mean... I thought it was on the on the higher... Course, I thought it was, like, five five or 6 hours, but like, at the minimum for it. it I don't know. My one. experience was never that quite that great. Oh, okay. It slept forever, though. I'll give it that. Like, it's good yeah, sleep mode. It seemed like the battery lasted for goddamn hours. Mine doesn't fucking last at all anymore. It dies for like an hour and a half that. because it's like three, four, five years old now. But Yeah, I don't know where mine is. <laughs> it sucks because I'd actually still like to finish Fire Emblem. But... I mean, fucking Jake had mine for like a year and a half. <laughs> you didn't even realize. Because I didn't... No, I realized it. I just didn't care. Yeah. Like, so here, Jake, play this. I don't... You can borrow this whatever and then he returned it to me and i can't remember why but now i oh have i i remember that whole conversation because it was hilarious because just like jake for like weeks jake was like joe i'm gonna get you the 3ds back i'm so sorry i've had it and i forgot blah blah, blah. and he'd just be like I, okay i don't care and he kept <laughs> he kept like joe i forgot your 3ds fuck i'm sorry i, I don't care and finally he's like hi i got it back to you joe here's your 3ds and you're like I don't fucking care. <laughs> no. It's like, thank you. No, the last part. But was, I don't care. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. I mean, I okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> Jake's like, bag. I told you. I'd get, I don't care. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> I don't fucking care, Jake. God. But it, yeah, it's, it's I, don't, I don't know. I If the 3D is light, it, like I said, battery life is always the big thing. Portability. Yeah, of course. Uh, size too. But I've I mean, seen plenty of times where people are like kids are going around with their 2DS. Yeah. Which I already thought that was like the the end of the 3DS where it was going to be a thing and they needed to switch over to create something with one screen. One bigger screen yeah. over two screens. Yeah. Because that's just silly. <laughs> At this point, like it was cool for a while. It, some inter- games used it interestingly, but for the most part, I think you're going to just go back to basics and have yeah. be better off. Of course, knowing Nintendo, the next game, the next next actual mobile console they release is going to have like four screens and a fucking like taste 
like a, a fucking lick sensor so you can't like <laughs> it has smell of vision <laughs> yeah just some random bullshit like that How because nintendo that? they're gonna go back and just make a vr hit like a legit vr oh God. portable vr headset they would too they're gonna make the portable version of the virtual boy <laughs> oh god they would too but that's why i'm like i don't why why this is this is okay you've got it you've got your mobile version and you've got your mobile and home version you don't you don't even worry about the 3ds anymore which kind of annoys me because me i like nintendo having a handheld console and it's total nostalgia because as i just stated i haven't touched my 3ds in years yeah. at least two years yeah it's, um, so it's just me being an old curmudgeon like no i still want a game boy to be available i'm not gonna play it i have a cell phone and i don't play games on my cell phone no i could i don't but I'm not going to, I'm generally not going to play a 3DS or anything like that. I would love it if Nintendo would release like a real Fire Emblem game on mobile or a real Mario, like real Mario games and stuff like that. Right. That right. I could just play with the touchpad or with the touchscreen. But the, I probably wouldn't. Even if they did come out, I'd do it for 10 minutes and then forget about it. Yeah. It's, some people love mobile games. I'm just, I, I can play some of them. I, for a little I, while, I, play I like, like puzzle games, but I don't play any now. I play a few mobile games. I'd rather look at memes, I guess, and, the mobile <laughs> and random games, bullshit. The mobile games I play are, like, solitaire. Yeah. Because it's just one of those things that's a good time waster. Yeah. When it, you're sitting there, you got nothing else. Like I, And the funny thing is, I will seriously sit there with, like, music playing on my phone, blasting out the speakers while I play solitaire. Yeah. That's, that's just something I like doing every now and then to unwind. Mm-hmm. You know, I, play, I do play Fire Emblem Heroes. It's... The basics of Fire Emblem. It's the most basic Fire Emblem game ever, but it is still Fire Emblem in its spirit. Yeah. Um, I play Pokemon Go. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I forgot I do play that. That is and a game. That's <laughs> it, it doesn't even feel like a game. It feels like a fucking job. <laughs> it's a fucking... God. <laughs> it's like a part-time job. You can't quit. I just... That's 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 what I would like to see change about it. I like to... I like more games that don't feel like jobs. <laughs> that's why I want just to... I, I'd like just simple yeah. fucking... And see, that's the problem. Play Mario. That's the problem with, like, the mobile market is like that's all the it's games majority are majority of the games that's like how that, they yeah. work and it's almost impossible to find games that you can just buy that aren't um yeah because fucking the, uh, money sinks because the money sinks make more money yeah and the app market is going to promote those i admit that i've spent money on fire emblem heroes and pokemon go i've yeah. spent money on both of those things i have not spent money on solitaire so pat me on the back i right. haven't i've ne- i haven't like drained my bank account on anything no god no but no no not going into debt over it i've not been able to not pay a bill over it yeah. you know i've not gone hungry because of it but yeah i have spent money on these things like i mentioned before there's a game back when you could still find mobile games that were just games you could buy and play i bought one uh that was uh, an ac-130 gunship zombie shooter game yeah and they completely remade that game as a pacing pay to wait uh game we right. added all those mechanics completely changed everything about the game it really pisses me off at least the gameplay is still similar enough so i can every once in a while i'll boot it up and play it but right 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 it's pretty frustrating that like i bought a game a simple game granted but like you uh, level after level just do this thing game and then now mm. oh no you can't access these things because now you have to buy the fucking bit you know the these coins or this coin or that coin and like multiple fucking currencies and all this bullshit yeah that's frustrating it is like it totally is did you know that super smash bros on switch uh, supports the Labo VR thing? Uh, no, because I just get a headache thinking about that. Right? Like, I do, but, like, it's an option. I was playing, I'm playing Smash right now. Because um, I'm running through classic mode again mm-hmm. as different characters. And I'm running through a Sheik. And before I started the thing, I noticed it had an option. Because it, it's, it's fully up to date now. Yeah. Up in the corner under that screen where it says a VR. I'm like, why? I still don't get. Just, just Nintendo's why? VR. Like, I've heard... You hold it up to your face, like... You hold it up to your face and play it like that. Apparently, somebody... There's people who've created, uh, like, 3D printed fucking head straps for it. So it's not so stupid. And I'm sure the third market... Third uh, third company market m- third would party. get behind... Third yeah. party market would get yeah. behind that if there was any desire for the 3D... Uh, the, 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 the Switch VR at, at all. <laughs> But I haven't seen it. Like I don't, 
I don't see many people who give a shit about that. Labo in general, to me, is another one of those things that Nintendo made that they'll have some people buy it, but nowhere near, it's not like a hit, quote unquote. Yeah, no, But Nintendo's I mean, a company that doesn't, that doesn't only like support hits, which I like about Nintendo. But um, it's just, why? I don't, you don't have depth. You, I, from what I've heard, playing games like Zelda, like Breath of the Wild, if you turn your head while playing it, you will vomit. <laughs> like, don't actually turn because it's not good for you. Like, it just, it does not make any sense to me. From, and maybe that's, I'm, you know, kind of being elitist from playing, like, the Vive and things like that. Like, actual VR. Actual VR, where you yeah. turn your head and turn your fucking head. Like, yeah. oh, there's a dude over there. I'm going to stab him with a sword. Uh, oh, I'm going to stab him again and again, and then the dead body again and again, because <laughs> this game it just makes you want to do that. I downloaded Lightsabers and did Sith versus Jedi. Uh -huh. And for some reason, I couldn't get it to spawn Je uh, Sith. Yeah. So I was like, fuck it, now I'm a Sith. And I just had it spawn endless numbers of Jedi. So I'm standing there with just two lightsabers just fucking, just, like, just tearing apart Jedi over and over again. Oh, that's amazing. But the mod is so awesome because it gives you, it makes your jump, like, a thousand, like, like damn near zero gravity so you can jump i'm playing in this map where there's two stories i can jump from the first story to the second story like to the ceiling if i wanted to out of the level um so i'm like doing the fucking darth sidious jump where like they'll spawn in on the bottom and i'm like ah i'd come down on top with two lightsabers <laughs> i'm like this is the most satisfying game ever fucking like dropping a lightsaber using force lightning and slicing oh it's just so much fun that sounds amazing too bad vr makes me sick yeah i, it, got, I get a little bit of motion sickness from it and i'm like eh. if you if anybody has motion sickness don't bother with most vr yeah there's even the motion that the locomotion in different games i haven't had a had i didn't i thought i was fine like, I didn't have any problem with any game I played until I played one of the Serious Sam games. Right. And for some reason, I, I could Wasn't not... Wasn't Serious Sam, like, the, the VR thing, kind of a second thought, like an add-on they released later? They No, they've released dedicated Serious Sam VR games. Well, versions of the games. Okay. They're... There's a lot of games where that's the case, but there's a lot of games where it's like a first person shooter. It's not hard to, to turn it into a VR experience. Like my, my VR games that are available right now, because my system is VR capable and yeah. Steam knows that it is. Uh, Hellblade, Senua Sacrifice VR Edition, Sega Ma Mega Drive, and Genesis Classic, which is kind of a weird thing to have for VR. Uh, Serious Sam Fusion 2017 Beta, and Tabletop Simulator, of course. Yeah. That's the perfect game for VR. That's great for VR. I've loaded that just to load a table full of shit and, and flip, flip the, the table. table. Yes. <laughs> it's just like, all right, I'm done. But yeah, like they, they added it to this older Serious Sam games, and just one of them, like it, it one, it didn't work very well and i didn't like playing it on top of the fact that it made me feel sick but everything right. else i've never had that problem right um i still need to do sinuous sacrifice vr because i mean that game that's a third creepy. person action yeah. game right so it makes me wonder how they did it in vr if they did it if it you know they turned it into a first person slashy type of game right, which yeah. most vr games pretty much are or right. they're shooters or they're simulators where you yeah Flight so simulators and stuff like that. Or like cashier simulators. <laughs> yes, the job. Um, job simulators, which I, I like I liked so many of those. Like, yeah. there's the one where you're like the guy, you're getting the girl ice cream and then you throw it at her and she goes fucking flying yes. off. <laughs> Fuck you. Here's your fucking ice cream. VR. There's a lot of VR games that are just like, like, though, great for those little moments. Yeah. Which is why I don't. I don't ever pay. I, I try not to. I don't buy VR games when they're like 60 bucks. Right. Because I doesn't. It, they still don't feel like, I guess, a full game. Right. So to speak. Because, like, I mean, they're, they're kind of not. Yeah. Like, yeah. you get those little moments that are fun. Um, if Blade and Sorcery, because it's just a, it's a dude developing it. Like I said last episode, he's just a modder who's decided to create his own game, which is right. awesome. Right. If at some point, like, he ever stretched out and made that game to have a story and everything similar to like Skyrim VR is a good example of something I'd consider that's a full fleshed out experience of a game. All right. Um, Which but actually does, that actually does look interesting. Yeah. Um, there's not a lot of VR games developed 
first and foremost for VR that do that. Right. There's some, but they generally tend to be pretty bad. Or they're co- like just um, wave shooters or mm-hmm. really bad shooters. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm sure there's some out there, and I, I may not have, I have not experienced them that, you know, people be like, oh, no, this one's fucking great. Uh, although, um, uh, the, what is the zombie game? Zomb- uh, Arizona Sunshine. Yeah. That game surprised the hell out of me because it is a full zombie shooting game. You you travel around. Um, it's it's not it, it's corduroy, but like it's not just inside. You're outside and stuff, but you have one path to go basically. Right. But um, it's that game surprised me with how much of like a real like a, a quote unquote real um story driven game it feels like. Uh, and I enjoy the hell out of that game. But most of them are just kind of, I don't know. Yeah, I got you. Just small developers. Nobody's, not not many big developers are jumping on VR. Like, it was surprising that Bethesda did. But even then, they're only taking their properties they have already built and then through, you know, Fucking throwing Skyrim. VR on them. Fucking Skyrim. Skyrim VR is fun, though. Um, I didn't bother with Doom VR. Like, I did from looking up some of the reviews and things. Yeah. It didn't. It, it, Doom VR and Fallout 4 VR don't sound like uh they ended up being all that great Ooh, so pardon me i'm just i'm kind of tired no nah, i hear you um one thing I, I i had to bring up and i was gonna i, I forgot to mention it when we were talking about facebook bullshit yeah because i constantly see this now um so there's this facebook group if you guys haven't heard about it that i don't know all the details because i i'm not gonna bother to look them up i definitely but their whole it. thing was they were going to get thousands oh, of people. 50s. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Thousands of people together to charge area 51 and find out what's inside, which has blown up as this giant meme of just thousands. Like the, they're there. Some of the images are really shitty, but they're still fucking funny. Like pictures from ET oh where the kids on the bike with ET. And it's like me, the alien I found at 51 uh, area 51. And then the other kids on the bikes are all the other people of Naruto running covering me. <laughs> so the group is literally it's it's a meme page. It's not like like there's news sites taking this shit seriously, which is hilarious to me. But it is a meme page that literally said something to the effect of we're going to get thousands of people together. Uh, we will Naruto run, which at those speeds uh, will be di- uh, completely impenetrable to bullets and we will invade Area 51. <laughs> with numbers and find out the secrets the U.S. government is keeping there? Like, it's fucking hysterical. And I just hope, hope, hope there's people taking it seriously (laughs) because I really want people to show up. Uh, But, oh, it's so good. Apparently, like, the U.S. government is treating it seriously, too. (laughs) Like, upping security. But it's supposed to happen in, like, fucking September, I think. September 20th. Yeah. I just 3 a.m. Oh, I love I'm it. I'm assuming local time, so 1 a.m. for or 6 a.m. for us. Yeah. Um, I'm just really it's so funny. It's so I good. I mean, just really. <laughs> this is the plan. The <laughs> We're gonna all run at it. Over 300,000 people have signed on to a Facebook event pledging to raid Area 51. 300,000 now. 300,000 yeah. now, according to CNN. Uh, this is as of four eleven a.m., so it's it's two twenty seven p.m. So this is pretty up to date. It's probably gone up. Um, we can move faster than their bullets. The event That's page, it. which is clearly written with tongue in cheek, promises those who RSVP for September twentieth. Like, like, why are you doing this? Well, like, why is this a thing? You know. I mean, it's what they're funny. after is the mysterious Area 51 has been the focus of conspiracy theories for decades, and many people think it's where the U.S. government stores its secrets about aliens and UFOs. The area was officially acknowledged as a military site in 2013, but the theories live on. Though the September event is most certainly a joke, it comes just a few weeks after a group of U.S. senators were briefed about a group of reported encounters between the U.S. Navy and an unidentified aircraft. Literally, an unidentified flying object. <laughs> so, yeah. I love it. I just, <laughs> I love the internet. <laughs> we Naruto running to Area Fifty One. 
<laughs> and you're going to end hero to get the truth, right? I guess. I don't know. I just love that there's pictures of guys sitting in the back of Humvees with uh, mini guns. It just says laughs in 10,000 rounds or 3,000 rounds a minute. <laughs> yeah, right? Because, I mean... 300,000 people like they're not going to shoot on these people right like that that would be insane I don't insane. know Appar- like I do I okay. do know listen if one tenth of the US population shows yeah. up or one one hundredth I don't know I don't care I don't care the math right now if a portion of the population like this shows up at fucking area 51 what do you do right like if if, if in this fantasy world where 300,000 people actually show up with Naruto headbands and just start okay, running listen let's throw that out I don't want to because so the image is so much better incredibly cringy I know but the image is so much like, better like, like what do you do as at that point like what what kind of decisions would you be faced with I think with, it's right? one of those moments like V for Vendetta yeah. where that just massive amount of people walks up to the military barricade and like they're pointing the guns at him and the soldiers just kind of look at each other and then like the kid puts the, her hand on the gun or something like that and yeah. the dude just puts the gun down and then they all walk past like it's probably it probably be a situation like that i don't think you open fire on 300,000 people right i mean it, it's crazy enough to open fire on civilians period yeah right but like what do you what do you especially even more so your own people right yeah. it's one thing like i i won't ever accuse like What's the word I'm looking for? I won't ever, like, defend war crimes or anything, like, if you're shooting on civilians of an enemy. But it's like, what do you do when your own people are showing up and you're tasked with guarding this with your life? Like, what do you do, you know? Well, it's that whole – that it's that's part of the question of, uh, like, you know, a revolution of getting people to rise up. uh, Yeah. Peaceful protest, yada, yada, where, like, you – if so many people did rise up. Yeah. Um, are the you know are people going to actually shoot like these are your neighbors, your friend, family like right, could yeah. be yeah. Uh, do you shoot even yeah. though it's your job, your you know sworn duty? You're protecting the United States. Now, are you protecting the government or the people? Right. So it's that whole question. In this case, three hundred thousand people, Naruto running at the base. I say open fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. See, what I'm if afraid... If anybody at that base is listening to this by <laughs> some miracle, if any amount over zero people show up and start Naruto running at Through you, the desert! You fucking shoot them. <laughs> it's just... With I just extreme imagined... prejudice, okay? You, you you execute them with extreme prejudice. <laughs> I just imagine, like, some fucking spotter sniper up on a hill, like, fucking Dave, you gotta come see this. And there's just like 12, 12 kids like, ah, oh, just get running. I don't care how old they are. Oh, God. If they're 12, if they're 20, if they're 35, fucking blow their I brains just, <laughs> I think what's going to, like, if, if anything happens at all, yeah. I, like, it, it, it this could barely be any. But the, what'll happen is if, if people show up, there might be some news people there. Right. There will be a vast number of people there just to take pictures and, like, <laughs> fucking memes and yeah shit. Memes. and just to like Meme just to event. see yeah and then there'll be like five people who are actually like no man i'm gonna get the truth <laughs> like and they always get arrested yeah they'll just it's it just fucking... but if they're not to running execute extreme <laughs> prejudice. <laughs> that's the thing is there's gonna be people like running through the desert just because their friend's gonna have them on video and be like oh look he's running area 51 even though he's running the wrong direction right i'm sure they'll do there's people who are going to find like empty lots that kind of look like desert to do this i i bet you there's gonna be some some like mid to big time youtuber who takes a fucking exactly. lot and fills it with sand throws yep. a fucking cactus and look we're not right to run <laughs> throws a filter on in his a, camera look like he's in the middle of the desert in a fucking in a sandbox at a park just like fucking army crawling like <laughs> going to area 51 <laughs> can't bring the camera crew with me because yeah. they might get caught so he picks it up you see he's like in a fucking park nearby there's just a kid behind him with a bucket and sand dumping it out like what the fuck is this adult doing I want to see Jim Sterling do that yes <laughs> yes because he's oh, the kind God. of person to make fun of that in that way he yes. would go that far I think I think, I, I think he would be army crawling few. through a fucking sandbox in the middle of a local park in Mississippi like alright guys we're going to go see Area 51 like, I want to see I want to see Mr. Beast set up a like 
if you can get to Area 51 challenge, like you get a million dollars and get like a shitload of YouTubers and go out to the desert, not that desert, but any desert, and have them like do a challenge, like in, uh, they have to run at a fucking quote unquote base where a bunch of people with paintball guns are standing and then see who can get there. Like, and they get a million dollars. That's what I want to see. That would be great. That's there we go. That's a great TV. Mr. Beast to make that video. Uh, yeah, because he's throw totally going to hear this. <laughs> exactly. God. But no, that, that you know, I'd watch that. I mean, he did a uh, he I, legitimately I did a battle royale of YouTubers with uh, they did it with uh, airsoft guns and balloons, kind of like Mario Kart. Everybody had three balloons. When your balloons got popped, you're out. But they they went into a giant area they had set up that was like an airsoft or a paintball big course yeah. and they had gun airsoft guns lying all over the place when they said go everyone ran out grabbing guns and ammo and stuff and started shooting at each other battle royale style in teams of three i was like that is fucking great let's do that let's do that for this <laughs> yeah fucking that would be amazing hell yeah i i i would totally participate in that um this is one of those things that i just i love this the whole joke around this yeah uh, plus, my first thought, when this first came out, before it was memed to death, before all of that, when it was like, just, I heard the cover story of there's a group that is forming up to charge Area 51 to find out. I was like, I mean, is this serious? If this is serious, the smart thing to do would be able to say that, and then a month later, go in in the middle of the night with half the half as many people when they're not expecting it. Mm. Like, that would be smart. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, no, I, you know. If it happens, I want to see it. I want to see it happen. I, yeah, they'll just like fire five people. Somebody will get tased. Like there'll be fucking like one fat Naruto dude be running through the desert sweating and then just like after 15 feet fall over like, oh, I can't go any further. Somebody will get shot with a beanbag around. Someone, someone find out. Someone, someone find out. Go for me. I can't take it. Tell my wife who I loved her. <laughs> <laughs> No. Oh, yeah, man. no. I mean, I, I, I would you not. No, he doesn't have a wife. What's wrong with him? Waifu. His waifu. Yeah. yeah. Tell my, tell my Don. Tell my body. Yeah, my Don, Don, my that I, I love don't it. even try to pronounce that correctly. Uh, I only know how to pronounce it from that. Uh, I want a Dakimakura for Christmas video. Um, no, I just, I think it'd be funny. I'm sure there's people that get arrested trying to get into Area 51 all the time. Oh, I mean, absolutely. Or at least yeah. I, I, I assume. I know you can get so close and it's all sectioned off. But yeah. I didn't know that it wasn't an official military base until 2013. It was officially acknowledged. Acknowledged. Because we don't know what the fuck it was, it was before in, then. Oh, it was a military base. The, uh, okay, F1, okay. the F-17. Okay, so a local ABC affiliate, uh -huh. um, K-A-K-E has a story that's a little more up to date than the CNN one yeah. where now it's more than 400,000 yeah. people. So we could find the page too. I mean, you might be able to, I don't know. Oh, I, yeah, I don't I use Facebook. Yeah. So Facebook, Facebook does not like you browsing it. Um, if Unless you're you not signed in. in. Yeah. Uh. Like if you try to, like I can, like if someone directly links me a, like a public post, uh -huh. I can view the post and go through its pictures and all that. Look at the comments. Um, but if I try to find that post by just searching on like the post title or something yeah. on Google or whatever, because I can't log into Facebook to use Facebook search function, it will not. I can't find for shit. Oh, even though it's public, weird. completely public. Yeah, they Google. all. They, yeah. It'll just constantly send you the Facebook login. Yep. Like Facebook does not like you looking at that stuff. Unless they're stealing your data. Unless they're stealing your data, which I won't yep. let them do. Like Google can harvest my data but even then only i only let them have as much like half as much as i used to because i don't use a lot of their services anymore i found alternatives yeah pardon me like i don't use drive anymore like at yeah. all i use sheets and docs and stuff which mm -hmm. i'm thinking of swapping that over to uh something else but yeah i use sheets and docs still um but drive i don't have anything in drive anymore mm -hmm. except for my android backups uh Gmail, I have cut down to basically just um, random junk that I don't care about. All mm -hmm. the important shit goes to my other email. And in favor of Drive, I've got that P Cloud, which I got two terabytes of space for. So it's like, yeah, which yeah. is nice. For I've life, actually almost filled up with my Drive. A zero knowledge encryption locker. Mm -hmm. So I can drop shit in there and they don't even know what it is. Yeah. 
there's a lot of stuff I have on Drive that I've gotten from other sources. Like I have a g- massive collection of homebrew um, right. and like old RPGs that you just can't get anymore. They're not even in, they're not in print. Right. Haven't been in print in years. Um, which uh, I don't know the actual legality of that, but I doubt those publishers are, or or even the people who created those are like you know looking to prosecute people who would share the um, books that no longer exist. I would think. I mean, that, that falls, I think, into preservation. Exactly. Um, but if we were looking at it from a software standpoint, mm-hmm. which obviously it's, it is it isn't, but it could be considered since, since it's digital print rather than that, yeah. it could also be considered abandonware, which is perfectly legal yeah. to distribute. Yeah. So. Either way, I have, I have like massive collections of that stuff and other things um, that just – that's that's what I have on my drive plus – uh, I I used to save a lot of pictures there until I got you know more hard drives than I know what to do with on my computer. Right, right. Which <laughs> I need to get more hard drives than I know what to do with for this because our fucking podcast is I've got keeping all the archives, all the video, and all yeah. that. It's getting really fucking. So big. it's a lot. Like I had to offload four hundred and forty eight gigabytes of video to my P cloud because I'm running out of space on my my secondary hard drive. <laughs> like, so for right now. Which I'm I'm sitting here thinking like I am man I bet NordVPN and fucking P Cloud are giving me all this free bandwidth, all this unlimited bandwidth for the time I have it. So yeah, better use it. Better use it, man. Cause uh, fuck, I just have no space. I have no space. I'm running <laughs> out. All right, I don't know. I, I don't have anything. I ain't got much else. I just I just love. I had fucking Naruto to talk about the Naruto 51, running Area 51 thing. Kill him. Kill them all. <laughs> yeah, I, I just, I know, I, I really am surprised they didn't acknowledge it was a military base. They finally acknowledged the uh, F, is it the F one seventeen that the, it's not. I don't even think it's in use anymore. The fighter jet that looked like a triangle, the the first the generation, Black Hawk? N- not the, yeah, the Black Hawk, the yeah. stealth fighter. Yeah, that was when not the original, all the the original UFO things for Area fifty one came out in the fifties. Yeah, but. Like when that resurfaced in the early the eighties and nineties, it's because the Black Hawk. That's where they developed, they tested it. It's mm-hmm. over Area Fifty One. So there were constantly people seeing this fucking giant flying triangle, like freaking the shit out of people. And then they acknowledged, yeah, this is our new stealth fighter jet. Blah blah blah. We held it here in this facility that doesn't exist. Yeah. <laughs> and then now, oh yeah, by the way, it's a military base. But that's similar to they didn't acknowledge they I, they might still not acknowledge that Delta Force exists, that we have um, that level level of uh, like special forces. Yeah, I think they have now after like like I just remember that when um, the movie uh, Black Hawk Down came out. Yeah, that was not an official brand like military force that they did. They denied the existence of Delta. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yeah. All also, right, the existence of the rest of the, uh, the SEAL teams. All right, well, we don't need to talk more about this. We're, yeah, we're, yeah, yeah. We don't need to be getting into conspiracies and shit. That's eh, not conspiracy. It's real. Yeah, I know that, but we will delve into... <laughs> Area 51 has all the secrets. It's where they're keeping all the, the aliens. And the gay frogs. And the gay frogs. That's where they develop the gay frogs here. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, we hope you enjoyed that. We're going to wind out and wind down here, and, and I'm hungry, so I'm going to go get food. And... <laughs> You know, Luke's going to go do Luke things. I'm so. going to go home, play video games. Now I want to play Smash Brothers that you mentioned it. Well, yeah, it's a great game. <laughs> um, all right. Anyway, hope yep. you guys enjoyed that. You know, go check us out on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. Uh, Patreon, go give us a dollar so mm-hmm. we can fund more experiments on gay frogs. Yeah. And, yeah. and you get more content from get us more if content. you want that. Well, yeah, you know, give us a little <laughs> more money, you get, us, you get some more stuff from us. Uh, Mm -hmm. But for the Ungodly Geeks, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. Fuck yeah. The truth is out there.